Hello, welcome along to another episode of Sunglasses Inside, filmed live here at Roxburgh Towers. When I say live, what does that even mean? No one really knows. Alright, uh, for this episode, I thought we'd focus on an album which came out 35 years ago this month. It's still the biggest selling album of this artist's career, and she has had one of the most successful careers in the history of popular music. The album sold nearly 20 million copies and produced three US top 10 hits, but I want to focus on the top 10 hit on this album, which you don't tend to hear on the radio so much anymore. So, here we go. I've got some photos I've prepared earlier. Look at that. Look at the white satin outfits and the suntans. There we go. The album is Barbara Streisand's Guilty, the songs written and produced by the Bee Gees. There's Barry Gibb who duetted on two songs. So the song I want to focus on, What Kind of Fool, it did become a US top 10 hit. It was even an adult contemporary number one. And it's a beautiful showcase of Barry's amazing ability to swing between natural voice and falsetto. And we'll get to that in a moment on the incredibly high-tech sound system that I'm using here for sunglasses inside. Uh, there's a nice little fun fact about this song. When you see who the drummer was, some chap named Bernard Lupe, well he doesn't really exist and I'll tell you why after we hear the swing between natural voice and falsetto. Here he goes, so natural voice, natural, natural and then having a little dance. Now that is no mean feat, and the entire Gibb canon, which is something like 2,000 songs, this is probably my favourite example, though there are others, uh, of that move between natural voice and falsetto. Anyway, Bernard Lupe, who is he? Well, he's really Dennis Bryan, who drummed on many, many songs and albums by the Bee Gees, but it's a drum loop. And this goes back to 1977 and the Saturday Night Fever days. And Dennis Bryan was unavailable during the recording of Staying Alive because one of his parents was ill. So they used a really good couple of bars from Night Fever, literally cut and pasted it, and used that as the basis for Staying Alive. And then Dennis came back and added some extras to it. But it was such a wonderful feel, and this is the difference from a loop and an actual drum machine. It was the feel that was so good that the Gibbs ended up using it on lots of other songs, including ballads like What Kind of Fool, just slowing it down. So that's Bernard Lupe, or Bernard Loop. Enjoy the song, you can click below to listen to it in full, and this has been another episode of Sunglasses Inside from Roxburgh Towers. We'll do it again soon, thank you very much for watching.